Hey guys, in this video I show how I make these glowing magical mushrooms using air dry translucent clay, just normal air dry clay, LED dollar store lights, battery powered, and a piece of wood. My name's Jordy Johnson. My name's Grumpy Jesse, and this is Carving Fusion by Jordy Johnson. See ya. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So, uh, those new to the channel, my name's Jordy Johnson at Carving Fusion, and uh, I'm a wood carver. Well, I'm a any kind of thing carver. I'll carve whatever. I really don't care. So, these characters here. This is this. I'm, I've been working recently working on. Uh, I'm gonna be working on a mushroom. Ah, jeez. Here we go. This gonna be one of those videos today, guys. I'm gonna be working on a wizard village thing, kind of. Like a like there's a small people tree. Here's a small people tree. Here's a spirit wishing wishing well thing. This wizard's not gonna be the wizard. This guy's already sold, but there's a bigger tree. The wizard I'm gonna carve is gonna be smaller than this guy. But anyways, moving forward. A fellow uh, in Ireland, his name's Martin Malan. I hope I said your last name proper, Malan. Martin. Um, he's in uh, South Ireland. He's uh, got a hold of me. He's a subscriber. We've become friends on Facebook and stuff like that. And he makes these. Um, he's uh, he's just he, he's just getting into wood carving. That's how he started watching my videos. But he's um, makes these like uh, pieces of wood with like ferns and glowing mushrooms on them. So I thought the glowing mushrooms would be great to uh, put in my wizard village. Okay. This is going to be a, one of those videos, guys, where I'm going to get frustrated because I'm trying to explain everything so it makes sense to you guys, and it doesn't even make sense to me, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so thanks for the idea, Martin. You guys uh, want to check out his Facebook page, uh, Martin Malan. He's a great guy, and uh, he's um, a great artist, but um, I love his little mushroom things that he's done, and this... Uh, the mushrooms are inspired by you, Martin, and thanks for showing them me to me and uh, giving me the idea. Okay, so let's get started here. This is a burl. It's a burl that I gave my buddy Pete once, and it was way too pitchy for him to turn, so he gave it back to me yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna have this. This is a practice piece for me, guys. This is a practice piece before I do anything on the on the wizard village. Okay. So this burrow is gonna have mushrooms coming out here. And guys, if you're new to the channel, the tape's on my hand, cause I got a cut there and I don't, you don't probably feel like looking at the cuts and I don't use band-aids. So it's electrical tape, but it's healing up. I think there's a piece of wood stuck. Anyways, um, okay, like a sliver. Oh God, it's gonna, I, I shouldn't even be filming today. All the bark still on this burrow. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I got these lights here. They're the dollar store lights, right? Like I got them at Christmas time. I can't find my dull lights. These ones are the pure white, they're brighter. Pisses me off. I had them in my dull lights. I had them in my hand last night. Now I can't find them today. I got like 20 packs of Christmas lights, but I just don't have, the, can't find the dull lights now. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do, okay, this is where it's gonna get confusing for me. I know what, let me start over. So. Okay, these lights, I got this hollowed out here, okay? I'm going to drill holes through these for these lights to come out here, and they're going to be mushrooms, okay? Look, they're Christmas lights. You get, I bought these for like two bucks, okay? The mushroom caps are translucent clay, air-dried translucent clay, okay? Here's some of the clay I have left from the pack. I believe it was $20 for the pack. I got it off Amazon. I'll leave a link to the this clay below. This is the stuff. Air dry polymer, whatever it says, clay. It's waterproof, extremely durable, highly fl flexibility, translucent, acid free. Okay, so this is what I got left. So. It's like, uh, how big is it? It's, um, it's 150 gram, five, five and a quarter ounces. 
Okay, so these are the caps that I shaped yesterday. Real simple, guys, super simple. I had one of these lights, right, and I just shaped it around the light. You can see there, you can see the light thing in there, that little thing, that's from the light, okay? So I'm going to drill the holes. This is, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to drill the holes, put the lights through, okay? Then I got this clay. I've had it for a month. This is air dry clay too, modeling clay. It's white. And then I'm going to make the stalks out of this clay. So I'm going to have the lights coming up at different lengths, some higher, some lower, some twisty. But then I'm going to wrap the wires, this wire, and up to the caps with this, this white clay. And it's air dry too. Okay, does that make sense? This clay, I read that you can put paint, like water-based paint, mix it in the clay or whatever. Just whatever it's called, mending it or whatever, into it. And then you can get like a colorful mushroom caps. So let's get started here. I think I've kind of explained that. I hope it can help somebody. I got this drill hooked up. Okay, I got, I believe I got 13 mushroom caps. So I'll do 13 holes. This has 20 lights. So, you know, I'll be bypassing some lights and put some tape over them and tuck them under and use a hot glue gun to hide them. That's why I got this drilled out, carved out in the bottom so I could hide stuff under there, right? And I got this little slot there. So this can just, and whoever buys this piece or gets this piece can just, like it will be around back. So that's the back piece. You don't see it. All you have to do is just click it on and click it off. This thing smells like sap big time. I think it's a pine burl. Okay, so I got all the holes drilled in there. I don't know, I got 15 or something. There's 20 lights on this pack, I believe, or maybe there's 40. How many, how many lights are in this pack? Oh good, there's 40. Because I'm gonna have to bypass lots of these lights here because you see how far this goes in. It comes out there like this, you know, like a mushroom stalk kind of thing. But this one, I can't, it's right beside it. I can't get it in there. So I'll tape that up and hide that light underneath here. So I'm not going to explain how I do all this stuff because I'll end up snapping on this video and it just makes no sense to do that. So you guys can figure out how you get the lights um, to bypass each lights and stuff yourself kind of deal. Because, uh, yeah, so let's let me get these lights in here. I won't film it because I'm, I'll be swearing lots. I will I will say one thing. I'll be using my hot glue gun. Once I figure that I got each light in place, you know, I can shape it with my, um, with when I put the freaking, ah, this stuff, stuff, the clay is the stock. I can shape it that way, right? But once I know it's in a good spot for the mushroom, I'll put some hot glue under here just to hold it in place so I'm putting the other lights in. This one doesn't slide out and all of a sudden I'm, well, I better stop filming before I swear. Okay guys, I got all the lights in place and they're all hot glued in, okay? So you can see them all sticking out here now. Okay, so you can see under here, I got all these extra lights because I had to bypass a light to get these, get these ones to stick out farther. So, you know, if this piece was thinner all the way around, I wouldn't have had, like, if I carved it thinner in there, so it's only like the depth of the wood is only like that thick all the way around. I wouldn't have had to bypass any lights, you know, because they would each light would have fit, but there wasn't enough wire in between the lights. But it's okay. I knew that was going to happen on this piece. Anyways, like I said, this is my first and it's a practice piece. So now what I want to do anyways, just I got some electrical tape and I'm going to tape up each light just so, you know, when your piece is it's finished and you don't you, you won't see light coming from under from you know beneath the piece anyways okay so that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tape all these extra lights this is just a practice piece the my wizard theme piece I'm not gonna have to tape any I might have to tape a couple lights but I'm gonna be doing some wiring and stuff like that too and you know you guys this is these are battery pack things so 
you know, I don't think you're going to get killed from shock from batteries, but still be safe about it, guys. If you're doing anything electrical, I, I'd say anyways. So let's see if that black tape works. Yeah, so you don't see the light coming out of the tape. Okay, and then I'm going to I'm going to tape them all up and then I'll hot glue them down. It looks shitty, but whatever, it's practice. Oh yeah, okay, so you can see the mushrooms on the top here. Okay, so that's that so far. I'll get them taped off. Hey guys, while I'm gluing these lights up, uh, I just wanted to uh, give my buddy Just Carve Rob a shout out. I'm not gluing them, I mean taping them up. Um, give him a shout out because we were chatting last night and he knows about my uh, mystical um, wizard village that I'm going to be making, the magical one. But I asked him if he wanted to make one too and... You know, because I really like his style. His is more like a animated kind of like cartoon character stuff. So I'd really love to see him have a go at it too, you know. So if you guys see his videos, don't think he's copying me, man. We're just, it's just artists sharing, sharing ideas amongst each other, you know. So, hey, Rob, this is for you. And I really hope that, uh, see that you can actually, you know, put all your wood carvings in a, in a theme thing and make it all, like screw it all to one board kind of thing like I'm doing here. So I'd love to see you do it, bud. And uh, guys, I'll leave a link to uh, Rob's channel uh, in the description below. Okay? So let's see you do it, Rob. Come on, buddy. You can. Okay, guys. So everything's kind of going on point so far. I don't know if the worst part was um, putting the wires through the holes or taping these lights, but whatever. You know, and some people might say, well... You know, you're wasting lots of battery power with those lights that you don't use. Well, it's what I had and it's what it is, so I don't give a shit. Okay, so I got them all glued down there, fastened down. You can see everything's kind of, this is just a little, sticking up a little bit too high. You know, you can get a piece of wood to put on the bottom here to hide this stuff if you're going to try and sell this pieces, because nobody wants to see that kind of stuff, right? On the Christmas trees, they don't mind, but this is, you might be able to charge a couple bucks for this stuff. So I got this piece of brass or copper, whatever it is. I just cleaned it up a bit, cut it with tin snips. I'm going to put that on there. Okay, I got these little nails, ballpoint hammer, and I'll just nail it in. Okay. Okay, so the back's on. I'll just sign it there later. Got my thing there to turn it on and off. There you go, there's the silly little mushrooms. Now anyways, what I gotta do is make the bases for the, for the stalks, whatever they're called, the mushroom chaffs or whatever, stalks, sprouts. I gotta get this white stuff, it's super, this stuff's super soft guys. Okay, go to get it and then wrap it around these wires and then, there, yeah, let's put a cap on. I unlock, there you go. There's a freaking mag magical mushroom. I wonder I'm feeling so high. Just kidding. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Well, I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to have a break. So, because i got to wash my hands with gasoline to make sure this white stuff doesn't get all dark and dirty and shit. Okay. Okay. So I got this, uh, this is stuff that I'm using. I don't even know if this is the right stuff. All I know is it's air dry. So now what I got to do, I believe, is uh, kind of, I don't know, man. Like this. Whatever. I, don't, I shouldn't be filming this because I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so let's break that off. And I don't know, you just wrap them around, I guess. You guys can even see what's going on here. So then, I don't know, let's put a uh, cap on. I think this stock's pretty thick, actually. It should be thinner. You guys can see that? 
Probably should be thinner. So I'm gonna take a little bit out take a little bit out of here. First time doing it guys, so I just don't know. How do you do that, Jordy? Well, I just don't know. You don't want to see any seams in the stock though. Can't really shape this stuff too well. So, I don't know. Do you know? I guess it looks okay. Stock's a little bit thick though. I'm gonna epoxy these heads on later. See, I want this stuff's not very uh, like uh, it's pretty soft. It's like well, it's clay. So maybe this isn't the best stuff I could use to give them shape and stuff. But whatever. There's one done. Okay, guys. So I got all the stocks on. Okay. So now I got these, um, I had to drill these out a bit thicker so they'd fit on top of the heads of the lights. Because, well, when they dry, they shrink, I guess. So some of them I drilled a little bit too close to the tips, but that's okay. It just gives it an effect. You can kind of see the light. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix up a five-minute epoxy. Because, you know, I could use super glue or crazy glue or whatever, but I don't have any of that here. This is the clearest glue I got here, so I figure I'll just epoxy each cap on. So let me mix up this epoxy, and then uh, we'll, get her, we'll get her going. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's, going fun. it's a fun project. Anybody can do this. Okay, so I got the epoxy mixed up. Now I just got to get it into the caps and start, uh, hopefully it doesn't, I'm not going to put too much in each cap because you don't want it to drip out, which will probably happen to me because I'm just, well, you know, half mental. So it's just about having a good time, guys, and just challenging yourself and trying new stuff. You know, this is good, too, because it's not messy. Besides dealing with the hole at the bottom of the wood, but maybe you guys can find a hole log or something. I don't know how this is going to dry, like how the shafts, the, the shafts for the mushrooms is going to dry. Like if it's going to shrink and then, you know, come back, come on. I got to stop talking and just get this done. It's only five minute epoxy I got here. So just let me get this shit done. I'm always in such a rush. This isn't something you want to rush. It's something that you just want to have fun making. I think anyways. But then again, who am I to say anything? I'm just Jordy, the guy that doesn't give a shit. Don't get me wrong, I give a shit, but then again, I don't give a shit. And buddy, thanks for the uh, idea on making these again. It's been a pretty fun project. Frustrates the hell out of me putting those wires and stuff like that because I did so much Christmas trees. It was kind of like a deja vu thing. Ah, lighting those Christmas. You guys even see what's going on here? I'm almost running out of time with this epoxy. I got two more to do. One, I'd say the mushrooms are a little bit big, like the, they're a little bit crowded, but mushrooms do come in patches, guys, so there you go, woohoo, yes!
Okay, I'm just gonna let this dry and I'll show you guys what it looks like when she's all finished. You know, other people, I can also, if this, if these shafts shrink when they dry and they leave the wood, you know what, you can always put moss down here too. You know, so, whatever. So here they are guys. It would look a lot better if it was a bit darker. It's still daylight out, but uh, I just want to say thanks a lot, uh, Martin. You know, you guys, he was uh, talking to me when I was making this video and kind of explaining to me how he made the shafts and all that kind of stuff. So thanks, Martin. I really appreciate it. And um, look forward to seeing some of your uh, new wood carvings and your new adventures. So right on, guys. Hope everybody's good. Real fun project. Anybody can do it. You don't have to have a piece of wood like this. You can just have a normal piece of wood hollow out the bottom a bit and go to town. Who wants to see me make one on, like, uh, these mushrooms growing off one of my wood spirits? You know, like a, a wall hanger and then the mushrooms coming off of the wood spirit. I think that would be cool. Smaller, though. Smaller mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, bye. Sign your goddamn pieces, people, sign it.